Hey guys, here I have a wheel and I'm going to demonstrate the direction of your torque, how to get a uh, positive torque or a negative torque. Um, and I'm also going to show you what can get you maximum torque. So first of all, here I have a wheel and it's just on an axis that will uh, reach an angular acceleration pretty easy. Remember, if you apply a force causing something to rotate, it should accelerate. So. With torque, because it's a vector, it's going to have a sign, just like our force and velocity and displacement and everything else that's a vector has a sign. So with torque, if you rotate clockwise, we would say the torque is negative. So let's figure out what clockwise is. This direction is clockwise. Notice how this point on the wheel follows a clock. For example, this would be 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and so on. So if I cause the wheel to rotate this way, or have an angular acceleration in a clockwise direction, we call that negative torque. And remember, it's just a sign convention that physicists around the world have decided to agree on, so that way we can communicate with each other appropriately. Now we'll see, if I apply my force at an angle, I'm still going to get that clockwise torque, and that's because I have a component, a perpendicular component, causing it to rotate in a clockwise direction. To get maximum torque, or maximum negative torque, I need to apply the force perpendicular to that side. So that's going to cause a maximum angular acceleration. Now let's look at the flip side. If I pull straight out, and it's kind of a hard picture to see there, but if I pull straight out, there is no torque. Why? Because it's not rotating. This force has no perpendicular component. It will not cause any rotation. Just like if I push really hard towards the axis, it's still not going to rotate. And it, again, because there is no perpendicular force. You have to have a perpendicular force for rotation. If I want a positive rotation, then that's going to be just like you see in a calculus class. We're going to start at zero degrees. Okay, so let's look at that green uh, ribbon. We're going to start at zero degrees, and we're going to move in a clockwise direction. So just as if you were to follow the unit circle, we will have, sorry, counterclockwise, counterclockwise rotation, positive torque. Now I can get maximum positive torque by applying a force perpendicular, but even if I apply a force at an angle, I can still get it to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. Again, counterclockwise is just like in math. Okay, here we have zero degrees, there's zero, there's 90, there's 180, 270, and we're back at 360. So your math class and a positive torque will agree with each other. Hopefully that helps you understand the direction a little bit. Remember, Counterclockwise is positive. Clockwise, the way you would see a clock travel, is a negative torque.